Hi girls, it's Miss Gaska. This is a continuation of English 4 Semester 1, Week 1, Activity 1.4. We stopped off in Scenario 2, where she was interpreting the assignment, finding information, instead of uh, finding examples. So, one of the things that will benefit her is that she's a computer whiz and that she's interested in the topic. However, she misinterpreted what the uh, expectations from her group were. So it's possible that her interest and her um, perception of what the group wanted caused her to not bring them what they expected. So her perception of what the group wanted and what would be most interesting about the topic caused her to not meet the group's expectations. So I'm going to continue. So the reader. Reader response critical theory takes into account the person doing the reading. This theory acknowledges the role of such factors as the individual's opinions, attitudes, beliefs, and background knowledge. So these things are all things that can affect how you understand whatever it is that you're reading. Consider some of the ways in which your personality, attitudes, and personal goals influence you every time you read a text. For example, what do you read on your own? Do you read novels more often or sports magazines? If you read quite a few novels, then being asked to read 30 pages in a single session might not seem difficult. Your reading habits are just one aspect of what you bring to the reading process. So they mentioned if you like reading novels, but on the opposite end, if you don't like reading, then being asked to read three or four pages is going to seem like a huge effort, whereas somebody who likes reading might be fine with reading 20 or 30 pages in one setting. So the reading situation. The reading situation includes why you are engaged in reading, when you are reading, and where you are reading. All of these factors affect your perception. Why? What is your purpose for reading? You may be reading a text because the subject matter interests you, or because your teacher assigned it, or because you need to learn something in order to complete a task. When, perhaps a story was written hundreds of years ago, but you are reading it in the 21st century. Your perspective will differ from that of the writer and of the text's original readers. And then where, if you are reading a text written by someone from a community like yours, you may understand the text more readily or relate to the author in certain ways that you don't if you are reading a text by someone from a very different locale. So those are things that make up the reading situation. So when you're asked to find the reading situation, think about the why, when, and where. Then the text. The text is defined as whatever is being read, viewed, heard, and so on. It may include videos, audio, websites, and the like. Textual features vary depending on the source. For example, a textbook presents text differently from the way a magazine or pamphlet does. Numerous other factors, from level of difficulty to the font, influence the text. So, check your understanding. Think about your initial analysis of the poem, My Papa's Waltz. Describe the reader, the reading situation, and the text. How did the interaction of these three elements influence your understanding and analysis of the poem? That information you could write um, down here underneath this section. That's it for activity 1.4, and I will see you in the next activity, which is 1.6, different ways of seeing the world. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.